Hi guys, and welcome to this uh, empty white table in my wife's sewing room. Uh, the reason for this video is because uh, somebody asked me to do it when I finally got my first airbrush kit in the mail. And it's finally here, been waiting for like a month for it to arrive from Singapore because uh, I don't have very much money to buy an airbrush but this time my wife splurged uh, on a $50 no-name airbrush kit with a compressor and I'm hoping this will be a good kit to start learning how to airbrush so I as you can see I have not opened this yet so I'm gonna open it on camera and whatever's inside I wonder what it's going to be I'm kinda hoping that this uh, is gonna be too shitty and uh, yeah like I said it's like a $50 kit not that I can expect much from it and yeah obviously this is the outside box and there's absolutely no markings on there like I, I, I don't even know I ordered this off a dodgy Asian website and I don't even know who makes this airbrush or compressor or nothing it's just a no-name Chinese cheap plastic this is a holder I guess for the airbrush and you get a hose with uh, cufflinks this is a, uh, the screw type this is not like a quick quick release coupling and this here is the compressor itself uh, it's just a tiny little thing and it says uh, ROHS yes that's the manufacturer made in China air output per minute is 10 liters the maximum pressure it's adjustable right here it doesn't even say what how much PSI we got coming out of it but max uh, working pressure is 25 PSI and I got no experience with an airbrush so I'm hoping that's uh, like enough and you get the power adapter and yeah it's, they uh, shipped the right one which I did not expect they also have like uh, the American system plug and got manual how to clean for the airbrush and this is like oh business card and an instruction manual for the compressor so I guess this is the instruction manual for the yeah the airbrush airbrush itself it's just like a typical generic airbrush cleaning guide so this right here should be the main event I guess and my of course my camera is blinking the low bat light low battery but yeah oh look at that it's actually in a case like I said before I have like uh, no expectations for a $50 airbrush kit but it's supposed to be a double action gravity feed oh when I said it was a case I just mean it's like soft foam with a piece of plastic on top and this is like uh, the specifications of the airbrush it has a 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 millimeter nozzle diameter uh, 7 cc cup these things I actually knew they were they were kind enough to put that up on the website and yeah the breakdown for this chart and stuff uh, good thing to keep I guess and you get a droplet and 
this thing and already before I pick it up out of the packaging we can see some it's dirty <laughs> and it's not like even uh, it's not even uh, greasy it's just like it's dirty like somebody left a can of soda or something next to it and went bubbles so yeah this is the airbrush itself it's double action you pull back and as you can see this one has the quick release nozzle whereas this stuff does not so right off the bat you have to take this off and screw it on directly which uh, actually I don't mind that much because I'm also going to use this air uh, the compressor for my uh, spray gun which I've had for a while and I use that for with a like a canned air thing I'm a jiggy and yeah this is all, all the stuff looks like and not that I can like say anything or judge this airbrush is like the first time holding an airbrush <laughs> but yeah this stuff is tight and I'm gonna make a cut here I'm gonna look at it some more and then later tonight I am going to try it out try to paint something with it so yeah see you then Okay, so I <coughs> set everything up to try it out. Actually, been I tried it out a little bit before, and it actually works quite good. Uh, whoop. I put the compressor right there. I put it on a towel, so it wouldn't wouldn't make as much noise. But if I turn it on. Uh, not that loud actually but yeah so like I said dual action brush with uh, adjustable needle right there and just gonna try it out a little bit This is Vallejo Model Air. It's okay to use that straight out of the bottle. And uh, sprays sprays uh, really thin lines. Yeah, when you pull back on it, it gets uh, quite a bit of overspray. Not that I really know what I'm talking about. Never using, I've never used this before. Uh, but I think with a little practice, I can I can get okay at it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna play around and practice a bit. I see it, uh, the nozzle sprays so fine lines that, uh, I think maybe I will keep using uh, this guy, which I probably should clean more often when I am doing like a large surface area, but in order to do that I need to change out the couplings uh, on the bottom first but yeah I think uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far and I'm gonna keep on practice with it like I said uh, yeah not much more to say but hopefully uh, this weekend I will paint a lot of models Thanks for watching.